so yeah, it's uh, actually even more impressive, although you can't quite Whoa. see it all. Yeah. This is pretty cool. <laughs> this massive UFO-looking contraption is in a shed in a Wellington industrial area. But it's not the set for some Wellywood sci-fi film. It's the stage for a science experiment that aims to change the world. So this is probably the single most sci-fi thing that you can actually come and look at oh. at OpenStar. Nuclear like fusion is the aim of the game here. It's the clean and safe version of nuclear reactions, but so far it's proven impossible for anyone to achieve. Fusion is one that's often hailed as like the holy grail. It's the hardest. The reason no one's done it yet is because it is so hard, um, but it has the most promise. The one that has been done is nuclear fission. It's how nuclear power is currently generated and involves splitting atoms apart to create heat, which is then used to make power. However, the atomic debris left over from that is radioactive, it's dangerous, and it pretty much lasts forever. But fusion is the opposite. Atoms are fused together, and there's no dangerous byproduct. I see down there it says radiation hazard. Yes. Um, what not now. You okay. should probably put that down, because it's actually not a radiation hazard right now. But, okay. but when it's on, it absolutely is. So we're taking hydrogen and crushing it together to make helium. That releases a lot of energy, and the byproduct is the helium. That reaction happens inside this machine, named Junior, and it's thanks to this donut shaped tech filled device. Wow. There's a lot of steps. I, I, mean, I know it's hard. This is a different level of genius that I'm going to find it so hard to explain. But let's try, and I'll keep it simple. The donut shaped tech filled device is encased in steel also a donut shape. It's then lifted into Junior, and Junior is sealed and vacuumed, and when it's all turned on, the donut floats, or levitates inside, using electromagnets. Hydrogen is added, and the donut's magnetic field sends the differently charged atoms spinning around at tremendous speeds, becoming a hot gooey mess known as plasma. OpenStar got to the plasma stage in October last year. A huge milestone on the journey to building a power station, although the donut at that stage wasn't levitating. Well, I like to put it as there's four machines. Um, we've just finished the first one, the last one is the power plant, and the two in between are us learning how to build the power plant, right, in a kind of good sequential step, instead of trying to jump straight to the fourth machine um, and just trying to be a bit more practical about it. The mission now is to refine the levitation and plasma stage so instead of the atoms just essentially hugging, they actually fuse together. They'll need to get a lot hotter, and to do that we'll need a more senior junior. OpenStar successfully turning on junior has shown the world that New Zealand can have a fusion company. If we manage to build the next machine here in New Zealand, we will officially have a fusion industry. His staff are some of the smartest in the country. One even built his own small fusion reactor in his garage. If I went to someone's house and I saw that there, I'd think they're either a terrorist or they're like making meth or something. Because the company is pioneering this tech, they have to make a lot of the components themselves, meaning there's lots of space-looking stuff everywhere. It's Ratu's happy place. Why are you chasing fusion? I think growing up for me, it became pretty apparent that climate change was the major issue of our time. Um, and if I could dedicate myself and my career to like one goal, that was probably going to be it. There was a moment where I realised no one else was going to do it, um, so it had to be us. There are around 50 fusion projects around the world, including this multi-billion dollar project in France. Well, it's a classic race. You know, we're starting a little bit behind, but we think we're sprinting faster. Um, so how quick? Um, I would say early 2030s, we as an industry will be delivering um, electricity generated from fusion to the grid. What year? Early 2030s. Early 2030s. Yeah. Mind-bogglingly ambitious for a mind-boggling mission.